Hi everyone, let's draw a fish tank. We're going to start with the top of our fish tank. So a straight line, really close to the top of the page. And now we need the top of our water. So again, very close to the line you just did. This is going to be a wobbly line instead. Okay, now we're going to make our fish. So up here in this section, start with two dots. And then make a semicircle that goes from one dot to the next. And do the same here. Now we're going to do the fish tail. So again, put two dots. And with your pencil starting here, go to the top dot. And with your pencil starting there again, to the bottom dot. Now just draw a line to connect the two. For the top fin, make a straight line right about there. Then a diagonal line that connects down to the fish. Start there, diagonal line down. Starting on the top line, make lines that go down and stop when you get to the fish. Over here, start with your pencil in the corner and stop at that line all the way across the fin. Right about here, make a short straight line and now a semicircle underneath it. You can make more semicircle lines here to show that it's a fin. Let's give this fish a big googly eye. So give him a nice big circle and then a smaller circle inside. And he's a happy fish. Let's give him a smile. So cute. All right, we're going to do the sand. So start on this side of the page and you can do a wobbly line that goes up and down. It doesn't matter what your line looks like. Just move it around. So now here on the bottom, we're going to do the crab. Don't go too close to the bottom. We need space for his claws. So make a big oval near the bottom of the page, but leave yourself some space here. So let's do one, two curvy lines there, and one, two curvy lines here. Put a dot near the bottom, and again, a semicircle line from the dot to that leg. Start at the dot again, the other side. Let's do the same thing over here. Put a dot and then a semicircle. Go back to your dot and do a semicircle. Now, if you want, let's make a zigzag line in here to show the grippy, pinchy claws. So start at that top part and zigzag line all the way across. Do the same on this one. Zigzag line across. Okay, we're going to make four legs on each side. Curvy line. Two, three, four. Do the same on the other side. One, two, three, four. If you want, you can start at the end and go back up to the body of the crab a little bit farther over from your first line to make the legs thicker looking. Do the same on this side. Now this crab needs some googly eyes, so make big circles here. 
then put a line part way through your circle. Same thing over here. And another smaller circle on this inside part. There's his eyes. And we have another happy creature in our fish tank. He's a happy crab. The last thing we're going to draw is the seaweed, the plants. This is really fun and easy. You just need to make wobbly lines. I did three wobbly lines. Now start at the bottom, make another wobbly line that crisscrosses. Start at the bottom, crisscross the wobbly line I did. Again, start at the bottom and make a wobbly line that crisscrosses the first one. Let's do another plant here. One, two, three wobbly lines and crisscross. It doesn't matter what way your lines go, it'll look like it's floating seaweed grass. Good job with your fish tank. You can add color, you can add spots or stripes, you can make your sand all speckly, or you can even add some bubbles from your fish. Thanks for drawing with me. See you next time. Thank you.